Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to use the R-Sync utility in the Mac terminal and we are going to automate that and keep files up to date on two different drives. Let's get to it. Hey guys, this is a handy reference for you. Um, I bought this years ago. I think this only went up to Lion, uh, OS X Lion, uh, but the commands are still pretty much the same. I'll put a link to this in the description because this is, this is what I'm going to go by today. Um, if we flip it open, we'll see right here is the rsync utility. And the command reference we have is rsync-a-e-d1d2. So that's folder one, folder two. Uh, and it's gonna mirror an exact copy from the first uh, folder over to the second folder. And there's a note in here about Macs. You always wanna use the capital E option. Um, that's gonna grab all of your OS X attributes. So make sure you do that. And for added information, the, the dash small a, that's gonna mirror and copy all attributes of the original files. Um, that's that's gonna get your Unix type uh, attributes along with that. Okay guys, so my goal for this whole setup is to copy from my workflow directory, which is external drive one, to my backup, external drive two. So I wanna keep those files fairly synced. I don't want to go through the delete options to keep it exactly the same. I don't want to remove stuff and maybe remove stuff that, um, you know, I wanted to keep because it was a different version or something. You know, I, I just want to, I just want to do a mirror of the files, copy them over if they're newer, basically. So that's where we're coming up with that, uh, that command line utility. Now let's, let's go automate it. So let's do file new workflow and then we're going to do run shell script and we're going to paste our command in and we're going to go into pass input as arguments and ignore the actions um, and then we're going to go ahead and save this our sync backup okay where do we want to save it? Let's go ahead and save this uh, on on the desktop. Yeah, let's put it in uh, in documents, and then we're going to save this as an application. Okay, guys, this is what we're doing. I'm taking this uh, folder off the Seagate and I'm copying it to the external, as I said earlier. So we have our automator portion made. So let's go to documents and let's find the file that we just saved. Um, and that's our sync backup. So what we'll do is we'll double click this and you're not really going to see anything except this little gear spin up here. I hope you can see that I'm, uh, in recording my screen. Sometimes that cuts that off, but basically there's a little gear and it spins and what it's doing is it's copying files from this to this. Um, I've already checked this and it does, uh, it does work. So, uh, this is obviously going to be specific to your setup, to what drives you're copying to and from, or what folders. Um, if you look previously, I had to put the volume name um, basically in my command so to get these two externals to show up. So that may be something that catches you up. But if you just pick two folders, just pick the full path as as um, you know source and destination, uh, the one and two in that command we did earlier. Hey guys, that's all we have for today. Thanks for watching. Um, again, pretty easy to do some tasks in Automator. Just take some of your command line uh, arguments, uh, scripts, whatever you want to call it, throw it in an Automator, double click it. You can automate this also further with Cron or I think there's a thing called Launchpad. I can't remember what it's called in Mac, but we'll dig into that a little more later. But but yeah, Cron, definitely run this uh, You know, every week, every night. Just stay up on your backups. Uh, I've learned that lesson the hard way before, so uh, that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.